video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. Recently in a video, I expressed my pain when it comes to soil blocking. It can be really painful on my hands and on my palms. It's just a small metal machine. Now, if you don't know what a soil blocker is, it's a small machine that makes little tiny blocks of soil. And that allows you to start a lot of seeds in a small amount of space. It's a true space saver, especially on your heat mats. And if you're fertilizing and you're treating the plants properly, those plants can remain in that soil block from the moment you plant the seed all the way up until you plant them in the ground, with the exception of a few things that need to be potted up like eucalyptus and tomatoes if you're going with the vegetable route. Because I'm starting a lot of soil blocks, it's become a bit painful for me. So I said that the other day in a video and while I was recording it, my husband overheard me and he took the soil blocker, took it apart, added some foam bits, I think it was like pipe fitting covers, and he zip tied it on and I used it and it was a little bit better, but he wanted to go a step further. So he ended up ordering something called Plasti Dip from Amazon. It just, it's a tool dip. So basically it's something that you can dip the handles of your tools in to give it a rubber coating so that it's not so hard on your hands. So he thought, let's try it out. So he got it, came in the mail the other day and the other night we put it to work. So the process was fairly simple, but you have to do it quickly. It already comes in liquid form and if your tool is skinny enough you can dip it right into the container. The soil blocker however is a little bit cumbersome so Brad ended up pouring the plastic dip into an old Tupperware container that we were just going to throw away. Definitely clear a space for yourself to work with. You don't want to get this rubber stuff on anything although we did find that the stuff that fell onto the concrete while the stuff was drying did peel up rather easily. You can do several coats of this Plasti Dip. We ended up doing two coats. It required 30 minutes in between each coat, and then it said to let it dry for four hours. It air dries. We wanted to make sure it was dry, so we left it overnight. And now it's actually been two days since the soil blocker has been complete. It's gorgeous. Brad picked blue because that was the only option. <laughs> The soil blocker itself was pretty easy to take apart and pretty easy to put back together. So after he had done the dip and we went to go put it together the other night, he went to go put it back together. We kind of had to remove some of the plastic dip from around the screw in the center and that was super easy. It peeled right off, no problem. Now I'm gonna go put the soil blocker to the test. Some like it hot. It's real hot in here, oh my God. to share my filming space with Brad Pitt. He's working on a four-wheeler right now. <laughs> I think he was just making a lot of loud noises, but he claims to be done. So here is the, the soil blocker that he made for me, because he's the best. So I just used it a little bit, and I've made three trays of gorgeous brownies, and uh, I have to say that it's much more comfortable, especially here because when I'm like moving it back and forth, filling it with soil, pushing it down, making sure the soil is nice and compact in there, that's when the edges really bothered me. And the rubber around these edges is super comfortable. It's not hurting me at all. The metal kind of would scrape my hand and I would just get really painful, especially around my knuckles. And then the top is much more comfortable to push down. It's not like a cushiony pad, but it definitely has more resistance. I'm sure it might still get sore after doing this like a thousand times, but while I'm making these, it's super not hurting me. That's not even a sentence, so super not hurting me. <laughs> I definitely will be getting a couple more soil blockers and then doing the same exact thing because I'm hoping to have some helpers in the form of my mother and my mother-in-law. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Before the bloopers, I wanna tell you quickly about my sponsor for today's video, and that is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can watch thousands of videos tailored to what you are looking for. They have anything from garden design, growing flowers, arranging flowers, all of the stuff that I know you guys want to know. You know how I'm really not an expert when it comes to floral design. I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Have you guys seen that HBO show, Full Bloom? 
one of the contestants, Spencer Falls, actually has some courses on Skillshare, so I had to check it out. Flowers and plants may well be the most accessible palette that you can find. So Spencer is all about using all of the unique things when he puts together his arrangements. Even his vases are unique. He actually makes some of them himself. They're truly gorgeous. Spencer takes us inside a wholesale shop for florists, which was pretty cool. I would like to be there. And then he shows us how he makes some arrangements, even some dried arrangements. But the thing that I found most useful from his class was all about how to use burlap to tie the bouquet. You guys know me, I'm not a fan of the paper. I don't like to have anything that wasteful, but he shows us how to make a gorgeous everyday bouquet and wrap it up using burlap, which I, that was a big takeaway for me. So the first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. And if you choose to, after your trial, you can sign up and it's less than $10 a month. If you're interested, the link is in the description below. I've been watching a month, a month. <laughs> I've been watching a bunch. <laughs> Getting hot in here. Uh-uh. Not gonna say it. <laughs> Super not hurting me, Brad. Brad. Cookie. <laughs>